Cows Week is an internationally acclaimed sailing regatta. Um, we have a huge amount of interest from sailing fans around the world through, through web traffic and, and the online media pickup that we get as well. And obviously each year we have a huge number of competitors and their friends and family and visitors from overseas too. Um, interestingly, we have a lot of overseas media on site with us during the event as well. We normally expect about 8,500 competitors and around 100,000 visitors each year. Um, it's actually quite hard to verify those numbers, we're a non-ticketed event so we kind of have to give it a best guess based on the numbers that travel across from Southampton with Red Funnel and those that travel across from Lymington with Blue Funnel and car parking figures, that sort of thing, but I think it's a, a reasonable guesstimate. Events like Cows Week are worth a huge amount to the Isle of Wight economy. A study was done back in 2000 looking at the um, impact of yachting on the Isle of Wight economy and that showed that yachting is worth 58.3 million. So that's a big deal. Um, that's not directly relevant to Cows Week, although the research, most of which was conducted during Cows Week, so um, I think we can safely say that a significant representation does equate to Cows Week. Um, and the 58.3 million isn't sort of money spent, it looks at things like media coverage and repeat visits to the island, and, and some of it is direct spend during events like Cows Week too. Um, looking at more recent figures um, and just looking at the, the media benefits from Cows Week last year um, and looking at the media evaluation, the circulation of Cows Week in the press last year was over one billion. Um, so the exposure that the event gets both regionally, nationally and internationally is, is, is massive. Um, I think online engagement and media really give us an opportunity to extend the global reach of the event and um, one of our key objectives is to look at ways in which we can enhance the spectator experience for people online through our website and um, so that that becomes more important in terms of you know engaging with the global audience an integral part of our strategy for cows week is using the event as a platform to promote sailing to non-sailing audiences and we've got a brilliant opportunity to do that through um, your media exposure that the event gets, visitors that, that non-sailing visitors that come along and want to be part of it, um, as well as um, corporate guests who come down for a day sailing um, who perhaps wouldn't have ever been before. Um, and just on the corporate sailing days, you know, that, that's, that there's a huge number of people who have got into sailing by being introduced through a corporate sailing day. So just in terms of increasing the number of people that are involved with sailing um, those aspects are really really important and they're important for the sport but that obviously has implications for us as an event too um, so you know just from a long-term perspective those are all really important aspects in 2009 despite the global recession um, entry numbers held up actually really well we were within 10 percent of what we traditionally expect to see which all things considered was was a pretty good place to be and um, I think, you know, people also need a little bit of respite as well. You know, there's all this doom and gloom going on everywhere and, and people just need to spend a little bit of time doing the things they're passionate about and, and Cows Week is one of those things. I think it's really important that we all remember, first of all, that, that Cows Week's been going since 1826, so it's, it's really not under any threat. It's a very successful sporting event and, yes, um, in very challenging economic conditions, we've had to look at where, ways in which we introduce efficiencies and look at um, new revenue new streams and new commercial opportunities. Also we do need to remember that Cows Week is not a um, mass audience event with television rights so we're, not, we're never going to appeal to a sponsor that's looking for high exposure with a mass audience. So we've got loads to offer, um, the right partner. Um, Cows Week is a unique event and it's a um, perfect sports sponsorship property for the right brand and obviously Scandia got business benefits from their association over a 14 year period which you know let's not forget that that's, that's significant. At the start of the year we actually took a parallel um, approach with our sponsorship strategy and we, we took to market a number of new primary sponsorship packages which give um, companies a cost effective way of coming on board um, for this year. 
um, and test the water with the event. And we're actually seeing a lot of success with that and that was absolutely the right strategy for us to take against the context of the, the current conditions. Um, and it's left us in a much stronger commercial position for 2010. Just on the title sponsorship front, um, we do have ongoing discussions with um, three prospective sponsors. That's a very, very, very outside chance for this year, given where we are in terms of timescales. It could happen, um, but I think really, realistically, in terms of activating the sponsorship, um, any prospects are probably looking with a keen eye to 2011. Um, the formation of Cowswick Limited in 2007 has um, enabled us to take a much more strategic, holistic view of the event and its overall strategic direction. Um, the Shoreside experience is an integral part of what Cows Week is all about and through our Shoreside Committee, which is comprised of representatives from the various different Shoreside aspects throughout Cows, um, we're sort of working very hard to coordinate what we do and working to a joint plan. We work um, really hard with the local business community, they're an integral part of what we do during Cows Week. There's a huge amount of work that goes on in terms of ensuring smooth communication and good working relationships with the likes of the Isle of Wight Council, um, Associated British Ports, um, Red Funnel, Queen's Harbour Master Portsmouth and, and so on. There's a lot of you know, associated organisations that we do need to work very, very hard with to ensure the smooth operation of Cows Week. So, yeah, again, those relationships are, are critical to the overall success of the event. We work really hard in terms of listening to feedback and evolving the event in line with what effectively our, our customers want. So we work hard listening to competitors and our online visitors and people who are here with, on site with us during the event, listening to what they want from the event and, and making changes and, and developing things as we go forward on that basis. So we will absolutely continue to do that. I think one of the challenges we face is that with up to around a thousand boats racing um, and the spectator piece and, and understanding what's happening actually being quite an important part of really enhancing people's um, understanding and experience at the event is quite a toughie because you know you've got a melee of about a thousand boats and it's how do you bring that to life to sailing fans following you remotely and people ashore and so on. So there's a whole piece of work that, that needs to be done and, and we're working towards it. it's absolutely one of our objectives in terms of really bringing Cows Week more to life for our spectators. Um, but with developments in technology you know that, that all, all of that stuff just becomes a lot more easier and doable um, and that's part of where you know, the strategy sort of takes us um, using technological advancements to, to really improve um, the way people see Cows Week um, around the world as they follow the event remotely and while they're on site with us here too.